Hey guys, so um, just wanted to do an install video again, another one for the CVT uh, shifter adapter and shift knob. I've got a couple questions on how it works, so we'll go through that. And then um, first I just want to do the install video. So you're going to take your adapter, it has this slider inside and this rod. This rod mimics the stock rod. So you're just going to screw that in and just hand tighten it, okay? So that it's just like that. Right? So that mimics the same thing as the stock rod. Now when installing this on your shifter, as we have here, you're going to want to go and you want to make sure that this slides all the way as far down as possible. Okay? And when you get it as far down as possible, you want to make sure that you press it. In the bottom of the shifter is a sensor. And if it is off by just a millimeter or two, that sensor may or may not cause you problems. So you just turn around, and this is how I do it. Just hold it with your finger, just like that. Now you're going to want to slide this up so that it's level. And then you're going to want to tighten the set screw. Okay. And that's that. Now when you release your finger, it should come up just a little bit. And if you listen very carefully, the camera won't pick it up. But if you listen very carefully, you could hear it clicking that sensor. I don't know if the camera hears it, but I'll be quiet. Okay, so that's it. So this is now secure. You pull it up and down, everything functions properly. So now, all you have to do is put your shift knob on. Now, the way that it's designed is the weight of the shift knob pushes down onto that sensor. So again, if I turn around now and pull the shift knob up, you should be able to hear that button click again. Which it does. So the weight of the shifter is pushing down that just that little bit of a sensor. And it's holding it in place. Whereas when you have the stock one on there, when you removed it, there was a little clip in there. That clip held this all the way down. So in my design, it's the weight of the shift knob that holds it down. Because the sensor is, like I said, it's only going down a millimeter or two. And when you click it, that's when you um, know that everything is right. So when installing it, you have to follow the instructions um, very carefully. There, This doesn't change anything about the physical shifter. It's not going to change anything in your transmission or anything mechanically because there's nothing electronic about this all this does is that it shifts it sits in there and then when you press the button it disengages the safety mechanism that is built in here now i bypassed it to make it work outside of the car but when you press on the brake it sends an, uh, an electrical current to here or it stops an electrical current i'm not sure which way it does it and then it allows this to understand that your foot is on the brake and now it could shift because I believe if your foot's not on the brake, it won't let you shift. So that's just a safety feature. And the other one built in there is there's a little mechanism somewhere built in this thing. I could see it, but you guys will never see it. And it just, it just allows you. So you always want to make sure that it is all the way down before you tighten that set screw. Okay? Any questions? Let me know. Thank you.